Hey DSMS, it's Bryson. And Damien here with your DSMS TV News. Welcome to DSMS Instrumental Week. Today at lunch, the Horizon High School Percussion Ensemble will perform. Then there will be an interactive drum circle out in the courtyard. It was a great day at the gym in Shadow Mountain High School for your 8th and 7th grade festival basketball teams. Your DSMS 7th grade Team 2 defeated your DSMS Team 3 in the championship of Cactus Division. <laughs> Your seventh grade team won their first game, lost their second, but came back to win their third game to take third place in the Suaro division. The eighth grade girls earned the consolation championship after losing their first game, but then winning their next two games. What a terrific start to the basketball season. The all-star season begins on Wednesday at Shea. On Thursday, we host Sunrise, so come out and cheer on your Sidewinder girls basketball teams. And now to two videos from Mr. R. Good morning, Desert Shadows Middle School. This is Mr. Rosenberg, your assistant principal, with some important information about our fourth quarter expectations for both academics and behavior. Students, as we enter into the last quarter of the school year, we want to begin with the end in mind. We are starting state testing, and quarter four grades are important as we get ready and move closer to high school. We want you to end the year on a positive note and prepared for the next step in your education. Whether you are becoming an eighth grader and a leader here at Desert Shadows Middle School or are making the big move to high school, we want to make sure you are ready. Fourth quarter does not mean the year is over. It means that you need to be focused on preparing for your next step. All students, please know that a referral or poor grades can keep you from being eligible to participate in the end of the year activities. And remember, there are plenty of activities for both grade levels. Seventh graders, it is time to focus on your grades to make sure you're ready for the rigorous classes you will face next year. It is also about maturing that little bit more because you will now be the upperclassmen here at Desert Shadows Middle School and the role models for our incoming seventh graders. It is up to you to set the tone at school and we know you will do a great job. Eighth grade students, all end of year activities and events will require your attention to both behavior and academic expectations. Yes, we are talking about the 8th grade dance and the 8th grade trip to the water park wet and wild. Students, in order to attend end of the year events, you must have passing grades and no significant referrals or pattern of referrals for the entire fourth quarter. An F in more than two core classes may exclude you from attending activities. Activities that would be considered a significant referral include bullying, fighting, vaping, tobacco, drug, or alcohol on campus, or any other major campus violation. Activities that might show a pattern that could cause you to be excluded from participation include throwing things, inappropriate language, being tardy to class, having your phone out when you're not allowed, being disrespectful, and dress code violations, to name but a few. Grade checks will take place at midterm, and students who are close to being ineligible will be notified so that they can work to bring their grades up. Grades and referrals will be checked again right before permission slip deadline of May 3rd. Students, please remember a significant referral after this deadline could still remove you from the activity. Let's keep focused on good grades and appropriate behavior and have an amazing end of the year. Remember, only 43 days of schools left, so let's make it count. We want to see all students at their best down the home stretch of our 2016-2017 school year. I am confident that our students will rise to these expectations. Thank you, and have a great day, Desert Shadows. All 8th grade students will be taking the AIMS Science Test next Tuesday, March 28th. Yes, 7th graders, you get a pass on this one, at least until next year. Eighth graders, please check the media center windows to see what room you'll be testing in. If your name see me or Miss Chin right away. Most eighth graders will be testing in their fourth period classroom with their fourth period teacher. Yes, some of you will be moving to other classrooms, so please check the lists so you know what classroom you will be testing in. Please bring a book Tuesday to read after you finish your test. There are no, and I mean no, electronics allowed out during the testing. Please do your best on this test. It is important for your teachers and our school to see where all our students are with their learning and growth in science. Students, in order to do your best, 
please make sure you are rested. This means get a good night's sleep for several days leading up to the test, and please eat a good, healthy breakfast that morning so you have plenty of energy. We know everyone will do great. Thank you, and have a great day, Desert Shadows. Hey everyone, it's Trey with the birthdays. Today's birthdays are Jackson Kiskinen, Sydney Noto, and Madison Raisinen. Happy birthday, everyone. Now back to the anchors, Bryson and Damian. We're back. Club soccer is back this year. Coach Zaragoza, the Horizon Varsity Boys soccer coach, will be here beginning Tuesday the 28th. It's $30 and you can get a registration form in the PE room or in the back office. This is really, really important that there are only 24 spots on the team, so first come, first serve. If you travel to Washington, D.C., please come to the office today to get your wonderful D.C. photo of the whole group from Mrs. Mead. Thank you. That's all for today, DSMS. Have a magnificent Monday. Is in my head. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>